<laughs> you know, normally I try to come in here all quiet, but you got me laughing. Oof. You know, normally I try to come in here all quiet, but you got me laughing. And then he remembers his Bluetooth speaker was still on. Yikes. Okay, so let's try that again. <laughs> Oh, good times. Good times here in the house of sewing. I hope everyone's doing well. My name is William. Welcome to my so-called life. And I'm still bumbling and stumbling my way through sewing adventures. Happy Monday. How's it going? Hello, Kilroy. Great to see you as always. It's another exciting day. We're gonna. I'm going to leave it up there for a minute. <laughs> Comment of the evening. Already. Already. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. I have a ton of stuff planned this evening. We'll see how far it gets. We'll see. Um, I've tested out my microphone in the other room. It's low, but, you know, it's my backup mic. Oh, coffee's still hot and I'm ready to go. Welcome to my so-called life. So, I think right off the bat, before we get to all the craziness, why... Kilroy and I are sitting in the front seat. Looks like it's just you and me. <laughs> this program is for entertainment purposes only, and its content is not in intended to malign any religion, race, lack thereof, company, individual, or wigs. All opinions expressed by my so-called life and program participants are solely their personal views and do not reflect the views of every single human being on planet Earth. I hope Everybody has a great evening flying my so-called life airlines. The coffee's hot. I've got to clean out my closet. You know, Kilroy, Kilroy pointed out that this is probably some crazy euphemism, but really, it's not. It's that time of year. I'm completely redoing my house. I've decided to paint my house. I've decided to um, do quite a few things, but I have to start from the inside. A week ago, I decided to, uh, great timing, my coffee pot just kicked off. <laughs> oh, this is, this is piping hot. Buying a thermos was an excellent, excellent idea. But before, I'll wait a little bit if anyone else files in, but, oh, uh, before, so this is not a cheese made channel. Here in the house of sewing, I am here all about sewing i really like you know in the world of entertainment and stuff like that like cheese may comes and goes you know but because i have my own youtube channel and you know stuff like this is gonna live forever i just have to say did anybody hear about puff daddy just a question <laughs> People say stuff about me all the time, but the feds are not raiding my house. And I'm going to say that out loud. I hope everybody has a safe evening, <laughs> including you too, Puff Daddy. We always knew. We always knew. So anyways, this evening, I have all kinds of crazy stuff planned, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm going to start off um, with a new segment, and it's going to be called I Made That. I think um, while I've been cleaning, I've been discovering. <laughs> I know him as P. Diddy. He always had a kooky vibe. <laughs> oh, do you know what's really funny? Um, my son was at school and he texted me and he's like, I think you should put on the news. And I'm, see, I, I have to teach you, like, there's certain things you can't say to your father, you know? But I put it on and I was shocked when I saw um, what, and they were raiding his house out here, you know? So it was on every channel. But I found my Wrangler bell bottoms, which is way more important than Puff Daddy's house getting raided. I, um, <laughs> I'm still on the road to making Lenny's coat. I, you know, I'm cleaning. So what's happening is I keep on discovering more things and a lot of projects get put on the back burner, but I want to, um, hold on. Let me make some room in here because I found a couple of things and you know, 
I work hard here in the house of sewing and I've made quite a few things over the years and I actually forgot he got the full Homeland Security treatment, not just the FBI or the SWAT. That's how you know you're done something that's in a league I hope I'm never in. May I never wear that jersey. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Oof. Oof. <laughs> so, let me um, pull out one of my old friends. Oh, man. So, this is an authentic Sears blanket from the 1970s. I don't know if you can necessarily see the print on it, but I made this a long, a couple years ago now. Oh, man. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. Oh, what am I caught on? But... <laughs> Oh, man. There we go. Doesn't feel like it, but this cloak was made almost two or three years ago. And I, I made the hood so wonky, I have to find the end of it. There we go. <laughs> Let me grab my phone. <clears throat> but I'm going to start calling this segment, hey, I made that. I made this two years ago. And this is full Emperor Sewing. You look like you're wearing a Persian. This is the Sears version of it. You know, I constantly talk about how when my grandmother passed away, I redid her house and I literally took home the entire contents of her linen closet, every blanket. This had the Sears tag on it. This is an authentic Sears blanket. And it had to have been from the 70s because my grandma's house kind of stopped around 1973, 1974. So a lot of the stuff in it is from a certain era. But I, you know, while I'm going through my closet, I made this. And I made this when I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Yay! I don't know exactly what I'm looking at. Yeah, hello, Joy. Good evening. Good evening. Great to see you. This is a Sears blanket from the 1970s that I made when I did not necessarily know how to make a hood. But when I draped it over, it was just dramatic enough to make a video. And I fell in love with it. <laughs> This was way back in the day I made this. Um, yay, hello. Yeah, hello, butterfly. Great to see you. Great to see you. I do look like the gold. <laughs> I like that. Golden Emperor Sewing. I've been called worse. Yeah, hello, everybody. Great to see you. Great to see you. <laughs> But like I said, I've been cleaning out my closet and discovering all of these things. And I have to do something with this because these are heavy. So there's this one. And if you, oh man, and it's hot too. If you think I'm emperor sewing on that one. Oh. Yay, I hope everybody's having a great evening. Great to see everybody. Oh, this one's heavy. And for anyone tuning in, I'm calling this segment, uh, hey, I made that. <laughs> well, I had much more of an idea. Hold on, I have to find the buttonhole on this one. <laughs> well, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this 
was uh yeah hello hello hey Ollie, baba great to see you great to see you, you are just in time because i discovered a few sewing machines in my closet <laughs> and i brought that brother where is it the brother that can't stop sewing backwards it's in here somewhere but i forgot i made this i was wearing this around my house do you know I made this when I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And this came out perfect. <laughs> this is the, my grandmother had what was called an Alaskan King. It's basically two queen size, two queen size beds put together. And so all of her blankets were um, the according set, you know, they were the size they were supposed to be. Hey, Will is a testament of when you go mad in the <laughs> in middle age. Yeah, you're not too far. <laughs> I've seen a couple nice machines today. Awesome. I have a I have a few oldie and moldies in the closet. How's it going, dog? Great to see you. Did you find those cloaks in your closet? I did. <laughs> this um I had in what a giant Ziploc bag because I do not want the moths to feast on this. This is something the moths would absolutely love. So I um I take extra care of this, but I forgot how much I love this thing. And this is toasty. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I recently saw a new build at a hotel and had an Alaskan King bed. It's huge. And so all of my grandmother's blankets were, were huge. I, I made this um, a kufi and a jacket. And when I say a jacket, I mean, I actually made it the proper way. <laughs> awesome. Be right back. You're getting blanket. <laughs> this, you know, and I had to laugh because I, um, my grandmother's house was all Sears because back in the day, Sears was a dependable place. And, you know, it was before Walmart. And every time I looked at something or I Googled a name or something, it made me laugh, laugh because almost everything came back to Sears. There were stores like Gemco and, you know, there were other stores, but it was my grand, my grandfather loved Sears. <laughs> Kenmore was good too. I'm expecting them this year. I think the weather will trigger it. Kenmore was good too. My guess is that hotel's going to be 250 a night easy. <laughs> Sears was great. Sears was the place. Sears like um I still have a ton of tools. I still have the first um tool set that uh, my parents got me. I have a 1980s Kenmore vacuum. How do you get bags for that? Do you have to mail away for that? Because when I was a kid, they used to have a vacuum store in my town. And let me tell you, it is nowhere near here. <laughs> will Wilms the quilting bee? <laughs> I'll walk in. I will walk in the quilting bee wearing this thing. Like, I made this. <laughs> I still have a set of Craftsman socket. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think over 4,000 a night. <laughs> Well, let's be real, like, to have a bed that humongous, you have to have a giant space. I know a vac shack near here. That's crazy. I still laugh how, um, um, when's the last time you got film developed? When's the last time you bought a VHS? But when I was a kid, um, there was a VH, there was a VHS rental place inside of the grocery store. There were rental places on every corner. There were shop vacs. You got to do your research if you want to buy a made in USA tool nowadays. Can't just go anywhere like you. Like you it's true. It's true though. That's why, like, someone recently told me my my uh, my collection of tools is actually covered. Oh, give me one quick second.
Oh man, that thing is so warm. Yikes. I was going to get into uh, into film photography when I saw all the warning symbols and warnings of the developing chemicals. I decided not to. You know what's really funny? At um, my junior high school, they taught us how to develop film and stuff. I doubt they do that in schools nowadays. The Alaskan King looks small in the room. <laughs> the closet is insane. In-room gym and then massage room sauna in the same room. I'd stay there for one night. <laughs> Plus two smaller rooms. Spock wore the same cloak when he lost his memory in Star Trek. That was such a good movie. Oh, that was such a good movie. And The Voyage Home in 1980 San Francisco. Still to this day, that is... I love that movie. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Okay, so I... Made this today. All I have to do is sew the hood on. But really, I'm standing here because I'm procrastinating and not wanting to go clean out my closet. It's a mess. I um, have a sweatshirt problem. <laughs> you would think I live in Minnesota or I live in Michigan or New York or I live like in Greenland or somewhere. But no, I live in Southern California and I dress like I live in Greenland. <laughs> dog wow kind of <laughs> i'm surprised more schools don't burn down from mimeo machines the chemicals in the machines were basically not five 90 they were it was pure alcohol <laughs> separate rooms for sauna Ma oof yeah i totally want to stay there now i live in pa want to trade <laughs> no. i told you in a weird way a lot of people from Pennsylvania move here. It's the strangest thing. And I'm not even kidding you. Even in my neighborhood, I can walk up to almost every other person and ask them what part of Pennsylvania you're from. And they'll tell you. <laughs> it's one of those strange things. A lot of people from Pennsylvania moved to Southern California. Which I don't blame them because it was uh, 70 something degrees today. Alexa, what's the temperature right now? Right now, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. I can tell that it's it's warmer because I'm not wearing layers right now. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to switch my angle in a second and go in the closet. I've been discovering all kinds of fun stuff. But I just don't... <laughs> It's such a mess, but like I said, I've rediscovered my cloaks, all the crazy stuff I've made, and I'm trying not to bury all the stuff I've made. You live in the sad. <laughs> um, Weather-wise and mentally, yes, I do. Yes, I do. And at my age, every time you call me Telly Savalas, it's surprising that someone my even my age knows Telly Savalas. I bet it's government jobs, military and geological geological groups move to both all the time. A lot in Arizona. In Arizona, I was so surprised. Um, you know, the earth gets hit with meteors all the time. But out in the desert in Arizona, there's big money that collect the um, rocks. I just don't have that kind of um, dedication or patience. <laughs> But space rocks, you get a lot of money, and there's a ton of people that um, do it in Arizona. It's big business. Never in Florida until <laughs> it's because the winters <laughs> they suck. They don't stay dry like other states' winters. They turn wet and last forever. I heard constantly. That's the worst. When this weather changes around here, I'm in pain. I couldn't imagine around there. I've been dinged around in my life. Back, it really feels cold. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. I need to take a coffee break, even though for the past hour, that's all I've been doing was sitting there drinking coffee. That's why I run into these streams like, ah, because I'm sitting in front of my son's MMA class just drinking coffee. 42 in Texas. Wow. Strange weather. 
strange weather. Because if I was in my mind, if I was to, to go somewhere that was warmer than where I was, I would head towards where Butterfly is. I used to live in Arizona and that place is perpetually 70 degrees. That cold damn killer, right? it gets me really bad sometimes. Same, same. That's cold. <laughs> wow, Butterfly. That is cold for down there. That is. Yikes. My finger, <laughs> my fingers are cold. Yikes. 47 where Joy is. Will is more, more expensive because he's a color telly TV in the UK. <laughs> uh, 47 here. Yikes. It's a uh, blistering seven degrees in, uh, in the UK. <laughs> We have Lake Erie at the northwest corner of PA. That dumps moisture into the air. Cold damp is the name of the game with PA winter. I couldn't hang. I couldn't hang. I need desert air. I need dry weather. Where, you know, my son pointed out to me that we go to the beach more during the winter than we do during the summer. <laughs> and we actually get in the water because the water is perpetually cold here in Southern California, no matter what time of year it is. It will be about that here tomorrow. Yikes. Dang, dog, that's cool. That is. Hey, Pam, great to see you. Great to see you. It's 40 where Pam lives. Yeah. I will not. That's why I never complain about the weather. <laughs> because where I live, like, it's 70 during the day and it's like 50 to 60 at night. Yikes. Seven, dog. I'm at 1C right now. And damp. Oh, it's so strange to me because um, one of the reasons I'm also cleaning out my closet is because I have summer clothes and I have um, winter clothes and I'm starting to pull out all my summer clothes. If you see my cutoffs and all my uh, my short sleeves, those are my summer clothes and I have piles of it, but I have to find it in Canada and the ground is radiating cold up no, out and up. Yikes. 46 here. Going to rain tomorrow. It's been raining here, but it's the strangest thing. We have we've been having almost Oregon weather where it rains and then it's 70 degrees. Then it rains and then it's 70 degrees again. <laughs> Yay, hello Pam. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm sorry you're getting cold Canadian weather. <laughs> that is too cold right now for here and down south. We had ice on the windshield this morning. That's that's crazy to me. I'm trying to think. It wasn't necessarily that cold, but I'm in my car like this, trying to talk myself into like, all right, I got to keep going. All right. <laughs> Especially because my Ford Flex, something is wrong with it. I have to take it to the guy again. There's something definitely wrong with it. It... It's making noises it shouldn't. <laughs> so I've been driving my truck more, and that thing takes a minute to warm up in the morning. I use proper degrees. The equivalent of those who refuse to comply to metric is 44 degrees. <laughs> we do refuse. Do you see this room? Do you see how many flags are in this room? <laughs> we refuse to comply. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Yay! Hello, hello, hello. We've all tuned into our. We've all turned into our parents talking about the weather. That's right. I'm taking my glasses off. I'm taking my vest off. We are talking about the weather. I'm gonna go run in the closet. Which I'm here to let you know. Hey, um, it's okay if you come out of it. Okay. So with that being said, let me switch my angle really quick. Guys, so in. You're in Cal. I need a bit more general. You all in Cal. You need a bit more general rain. Have it soak it and help the ground water table levels bring them back a bit at least. Do you know what happens here? Is like everything grows and then fire season happens, and so it's almost more of a. The more wet it is at the end of like August, it's just that much more of a fire hazard. It's the strangest thing here. Oh, whoops. 
So then California calling me on the phone, sending me letters, telegrams, carrier pigeons, candy grams, that heat you guys would make my life a lot easier. You know, I constantly think about um, where I want to move. And my list is like shrinking to places here. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Hello. Hello. Uh, but if I PA weather uh, sucks so much, I've been talking about the weather since I was 10. <laughs> you know, when I lived in Arizona, um, one of my first introductions to somebody was like, we don't talk about the weather here because it's always hot. And I'm not kidding you. That person never brought up the weather again. Never. <laughs> Yay. I have to know them both. Yay. Killing. I was thinking the desert near or in Cali. Cal our, the California desert is huge. It's 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 bigger than you think. It is so deceptively large. Can San Bernardino County is considered a different state because they have like different laws. <laughs> they call it the Texas of California, but there's no such thing. All right, so I'm going to go run in the other room. I'm going to mute myself really quick. Well, that was a complete failure, but I have stuff to do for days and days. Let me know if you can hear me now. Because before I knew you guys couldn't hear me because I was like, hey, can you hear me now? <laughs> oh, it's Monday. Monday will find you. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Man, there is something. There is something going on in that room. The Wi-Fi is wonky. I'm about to kick my closet out in a minute. <laughs> oh, whoops, whoops! It didn't say anything insulting yet. Hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? So, how's it <laughs> so I'm cleaning out my closet because it's an utter and complete mess. I have like. Too many sweatshirts. Do you know what's really funny? I have this strange habit of being like, oh, I need an undershirt for my vest. I need a sweatshirt. I need this or that. So I go and buy more and more and more. And I have a walk-in closet. <laughs> I'm not even going to make excuses anymore for my crazy habits. Very silent sound. Yay. Okay, so you guys can hear me now. 
Ah, looks like my backup. Looks like I need to get a new backup microphone. <laughs> well, you need you need to shout and dance and dance more. Strong solar storms, lunar eclipse just left the equinox headed for a solar eclipse. World's gonna be weird. <laughs> Do you so do you believe in that? Do you believe like with the pull of the moon? I like I um knew somebody that said like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not necessarily the, the best person to ask. <laughs> it did sound like the inside is clipped, bent, or picked up. I found you know, I found a bent cord. One of the cords were bent, and I was like, how did this happen? WWE. <laughs> All right. So I'm I'm going to fire my closet for a minute. <laughs> that was an utter and complete bonk. I'm going to figure out the technology. I'm going to figure out how I can get it. I need to definitely need a new backup. Great. This is just another thing that I need. Need to do on the long list of things I need to do. It will only move the bladder when it's modded. First responders and ER nurses all say that things get crazy during a full moon. I knew somebody, somebody that said like the craziest day in America was Super Bowl Sunday. That was like the craziest day, the most fights, the most DUIs. I believe it because everybody's partying, you know. I definitely believe in energies. I don't know how things work, but I have seen too many coincidences. Coincidences. I just can't say the word. That I agree with you. Like, you know, like we were like we were talking about the other day. Like it's funny how we can come from um different sides and have the same conclusion. I completely agree with you. Oh, could be rewired than it. Then, uh, you know what? I just, you know, you know me. I do not give up on technology. So I'm going to be like, why do you not work, microphone? Why do you not work? What you, <laughs> you bonked it and now it does it. <laughs> no, I have, um, because um, I inherited a sound studio, I have thousands of cords. Um, actually, underneath, uh, I'm pointing like you can see it. Underneath where my camera is, where my um, computer is sitting, there's a box of cords. Every kind of cords you could possibly think of from obsolete computers, from all kinds of things. I just have to find the cord. It's, you know, my box of cords is actually undefeated. Every time I buy an emulator or I buy something and it says, oh, you need this or this cord, I have it. Super Bowl equals booze and booze equals problems. There, and even around here, around here, it's more anything that's involved with fireworks. They start going off a month before anything that's fireworks. People go crazy around here. I have to fix the guitar chords after <laughs> that. It just bugs me because I had big plans, but really, I need to get in there and clean everything. And trying on everything and showing off all the stuff I've made. I'm actually proud of myself. In the past four or five years, I've made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces. And I, you know, and I'm not, I'm uh, that, I'll tell you the real number. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right. So I'm going to kick my closet out again. Look to Fred Sanford of Soy. Look to Fred Sanford of Sewing Machines. Group the end types together and keep them separate. You're right. You're right. I need. I do need to warehouse everything. I started that like behind me. These are. I had them um, lined up by age, but then I um, started buying a bunch of tables, and that was a complete failure. <laughs> a complete failure. Speaking of which. I actually have a project lined up, all kinds of things that I could be doing. And after I finish, finish, I'm going 100 miles an hour. After I finish my hood, I'm going to make oopsie shorts because I still have four yards of this. What would you call that? It's kind of like, 
I don't know if it's pink. I call it the color of my eyes. It's green, black, and salmon. Salmon. What would you, what what color would you call that? <laughs> but I'm gonna make a pair of shorts. I have my template every pair of shorts that i've made except for my spants these are my template these are my dicky walmart shorts i purchased these like um 14 13 years ago <laughs> but i use them to trace everything the only problem that i have with booze is that it turns me into an asshole and i fall over uh i have i haven't had a sip of alcohol in over um 13 years However long my son's lived in my house <laughs> shows up, shows up white on camera. It's like pinkish. It's this really weird pink. Salmon pink. It's a really off pink though. And that's why it's in the oopsies because I doubt anybody wanted it in the first place. <laughs> Very lightish salmon pink. Olive green. Sometimes I wonder... Um, I can kind of see, but I'm not. I'm. I'm not colorblind. <laughs> Said by the colorblind person. Dicky pants from Walmart were the only pants that I could that I couldn't trash. These things, you know what? They're faded. They show their age, but these things, um, they don't have any holes. The integrity is amazing, and these are probably as old as my child, <laughs> if not older. I've I've had these forever. I've had these things forever. All right, so I'm gonna use those to make um LBGTQ pink. <laughs> Man, you bejumbled that one. You really bejumbled that one. The older dickies are better. That is true. They were made to last. You know, it's funny. It's really funny how um those were not planned to be redundant. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Ah, see, it's Monday. We're having a great time. The closet was a complete failure, but here in the house of sewing, I always have backup projects and a giant hood to make. So I want to clean off. Let me look at my um, notes a little bit. I'm going to find my Wrangler um, bell bottoms. I found them and they're amazing. They are somewhere. That's why I wanted to go in the closet because I put them on and I'm like, I don't care if these are worth money. They're John Travolta. You put them on. It is Saturday night fever when you put those things on. Oh, man. Now I have staying alive in my head. Both versions. I'm, let's see. I am going to make a hat soon because I have a ton of felt in this room. A ton. And so I need to do something about it because I found the stash of black felt that I had originally. And I thought I got rid of it, but it's still here. <laughs> Even newer dickies are great. They are. They are. Description of the evening. <laughs> My son is in this weird um, khaki phase. So I took him to this uh, specialty shop. It's the kind of place where they have hats on the wall. They have every kind of dickies you could possibly think of, like red, all the off colors. You can get pink dickies at this place, baby blue. I bought my son quite a few brand new pairs, and they hold up like the old ones do. They really do. I feel bad that I didn't add the plus. <laughs> it's LGBTQIA+. <laughs> so, you went, so you went to a cowboy store? <laughs> well, this guy... Um, in Southern California, it's hard to find the, the real authentic stuff where somebody's a Dickies dealer because everybody has, you know, they'll buy certain rights and they sell the base colors, you know? And so what happens is you only get certain colors. Um, this store, man, they have anything that you could possibly think of as a color. They have them in Dickies. And the guy is an authorized dealer. He, um, all of my World Series hats, all the hats that I've purchased recently, I got from him. And he gives me a decent price. He, he's basically, he's basically brought an idea from Los Angeles to the suburbs. He has jerseys and jerseys are expensive. Like if you go to Dick's Sporting Goods, they sell them for, um, 
300 $400. At this place, their authentic jerseys, he starts at 150 And that's a little bit more reasonable <laughs> than paying $300. Or a, a yuppie store. <laughs> They're yuppie. I do live in the land of yuppies. I do live in the land of yuppies. All right. So this weekend, my plan of mapping out Goodwill's worked. I Googled Goodwill. Um... <laughs> a long story dog it's a long story but we include everybody <laughs> i googled i googled the goodwill and i was looking things up and um lo and behold lo and behold um i found a goodwill okay so there is a salvation army i've been going to i discovered one in the valley and so i drive over there all the time and i feel like accomplished because i discovered a new store you know, it's a new place to find sewing, accessories, all the crazy shirts I find, all the things that I love to do, you know. So this weekend I Googled it and literally less than a block <laughs> is a Goodwill. And the funny thing is I walk in and it's somebody that I know from my town. He worked at all the Goodwills in my town. And I and it's the strangest thing because this one is Far away from not well, you need a car to get there. It's a good 20 minute trip, you know, 25 minute trip. It's far from my house. And so it was strange. I walked in and he was like, You love you really? He's like, Let me look in the back to see if there's any sewing machines for you. It tripped him out that he saw me because <laughs> it was so far from my house. You didn't know there was a Goodwill so close to you? Well, <clears throat> no. Um, the There was a Salvation Army that I was going to, and I had to Google it to get there. Los Angeles is humongous. When I say I live in the valley, come find me. Because the valley, like, like L.A. County is the size of certain states. <laughs> Long story, I've been making a map of thrift stores because when I go downtown, I feel like I'm driving past a million thrift stores and I am. So I've been discovering all these places and it makes me like it was right under his nose. I was like, what? When I saw the map, because I saw the Salvation Army and literally there was a boop right next to it. And I was like, are you kidding me? And it just made me laugh. It made me laugh. And I bought a Clippers hat <laughs> and I put a patch on it. I don't know. Um, I'm, I don't get into my politics, but I'm not necessarily a Lakers fan. I'm much more of a Clippers fan, but that's just because in my life, the Clippers were much more affordable to go to. So um, in large groups, I would see the Clippers way more than I ever saw the Lakers. So I will wear Clippers merch wear, way before I would ever wear a Lakers hat. But I'm stoked. And I put an eyeball patch on it. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had a good Clippers hat. I'm going to wear this to work. I, I, I want to um, get a screenshot of it before it gets trashed because I'm going to wear it to work every day. <laughs> but... This was another beautiful project. This was a patch I've had forever, forever. And, you know, I really didn't know what I was going to do with it. But this is perfect, especially when I'm driving nosy people. Um, uh, when I'm driving and nosy people go past me. <laughs> Dog in America, our um, drivers, our, our steering wheels are on the left. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm kidding. My philosophy is live and let live. I do, I do find my knowledge of trans people to 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 be piss poor. What the fuck is two spirit? Oh, here we go. <laughs> if there's nice to me, I'll be nice to them. Absolutely. No, no, no. That's how you should be in life. I, I'm like that with everybody. Everyone's equally. Like, I treat everyone equally. <clears throat> they do tug them in there, and there's so many towns. Alibaba, like I was shocked when I hit the map and there's Goodwills everywhere, everywhere. And I knew, and I got kind of lost because I was driving and I'm like, oh, I'm on the yuppie side. Cause I live on the yuppie side of town, 
But then there's like, like let's say that like these houses are worth a million each. Those houses are worth five million each. And I, when I started like creeping into that town, I'm like, okay, I need to turn around. But I found it. The Lakers is seen like the Cubs and Yankees of basketball again. Just like bands, there are certain bands where people will be like, I don't like that band, but really what they're talking about is the, are the fans. They're not even talking about the band. They're talking about, I don't like the fans. And, um, you know, Clippers and Lakers, it's uh, Hatfields and McCoys here in L.A. <laughs> a third eye on the road. <laughs> oh, one you won't get pulled over for. Do you know what's so funny? I have a sitting mannequin. And, like, I'm so tempted to put that thing in my car and um, go in the carpool lane. But there's been too many people in Southern California that have been pulled over. And the cops will shame you. They will shame. They take your picture. Like, I'm not even going to give you a ticket. I'm just going to put you on a website where everyone around the world is going to see. <laughs> oh, it's not like I haven't been uh, viral before. Any trucker hat makes any person look like they're going to game on the <sighs> Oh, I haven't had hair since 1999. So, or they're going through a pack of camel darts in hour. <laughs> For real. For real. Absolutely. <laughs> They also give you a large ticket, I heard. It, they do that on purpose. They do that on purpose because at first it was funny because people were fooling the cops because the cops, all they want to know, because motorcycles and um, if you have two people in your car, you're you're permitted to go in the carpool lane. And you really don't think about the carpool lane until you're in traffic. Then you get in the carpool lane, and you're like, this is the greatest invention since sliced bread because you're flying past everyone because... Everybody in L.A. County owns a car. Even people who don't drive own cars. All mega look like that. <laughs> it's the strangest. It is the strangest thing. Oh, man. All right. So. All right. Don't want to clear the table. I love this hat, though. I need a new hat to um, utterly and completely get sweaty and trashed at work. So this is definitely going to work. Oh man, where are you at? Okay, my here we go. I should be watching my own stream, huh? Perfect. You know what? Like, bes um, besides getting a large ticket, you just don't want to get caught doing dumb things like that. <laughs> you want to like. Like, it's okay to be infamous, but not for stuff like that. <laughs> oh, it's like the left lane on the Autobahn. It is. And, th and that is, it is so true because what happens in the carpool lane is that you start speeding past people and someone gets on your tail and they're like, don't stop, dude, because I'm going to fly behind you. <laughs> so true you'll be that <laughs> thank you dog thank you thank you for your love and concern thank you <sighs> if mark wore a trucker hat he still would have been here I, I i think about mark all the time he was my australian buddy i really got into australian television and i would send him a mess a message i would be like hey mark are house house real <laughs> he would send me pictures <laughs> house those are um what they call people who are like living in the housing authorities in um in australia but there was a show I watched and it was, I knew it was all stereotypes, but I would constantly ask him like, is that real? Is that real? You have to be watching. You have, you have to be watching in the fast lane on the Autobahn. <laughs> I saw some go, some go by why white blur, black blur. Do you know what's really funny? Um, that actually happened to me in the Seattle Expressway. I was in a 1983 Ford Ranger. My truck 
couldn't go over 85 miles an hour. People were driving past me. They're like, get out of, go back to California. They were flying past me on the expressway. I learned a lesson that day. <laughs> oh, I missed that truck. That truck was a beater, but I missed that thing. I drove, I drove that thing all around America. <laughs> uh, still watching Alf. But if anyone's checking, I'm still watching Alf. <laughs> I own uh, I own everything that is related to Alf. I'm still watching it. <laughs> all right, let me um, clean up my desk. Like I said, I was gonna do an hour ago. Beautiful. So I'm I was thinking about making just a full oopsie outfit, but I'm going for a hoodie, shirt, and shorts. We'll see how it ends up though. Imagine being called a house so that motivates you to get out of the public house. So Gilroy, look it up. Um, Houseos is hilarious. They had a bunch of off offshoot. Keep in mind, though, the Australian culture is different than the Americans, and we're sensitive. Americans are sensitive, so that show is hardcore. But Houseos is hilarious. Mark Caesar is still here. Spoke to him tonight. That was. Uh, it was probably Barry. Well, I felt loud. It's so scary, Alibaba. <laughs> uh, uh. My S10 could only go on. <laughs> it got there so fast, though. <laughs> <clears throat> I miss my 1980s um, Ford Ranger. That car, man, that, you know, when you get your first car, um, I loved that thing. I took care of that car like better than I took care of myself. Oh, I missed that truck. I thought it was cool, butterfly. Everyone drives to expect to pull over for fast passing cars. That's cool. I know it's crazy. That's that is crazy. Can you guys hear my son singing? He he's gonna be great if he wants to have a death metal career. He's gonna be great in a um, band or lead singer in a punk band. He's gonna be awesome. Trust in the slow lane. Cars in the cars in the middle. And if you're passing a fast lane, you know that's kind of how we drive on the highway here. <laughs> it is known that if you see someone honking behind you, you need to get over to the right because they're gonna pass you on the left. Wow. Okay, so we're going to play that. We're going to play that game I love to call Bobbin Roulette. We're going to see what's in the bobbin. See you. <laughs> oh. <sighs> You see flashing car lights behind you. You better get the heck up. Thank you. And that's international. I've, I have been from, uh, well, it's international in America. I've, I've been from Santa Monica to um, Savannah, Georgia, back up all the way to Maine, all the way back to, to Santa Monica. If you see someone coming behind you, get out of the way. <laughs> No, I didn't see. I didn't see you raining him. And to be whiny enough for a punk band, you're too old school, America. <laughs> that is true. He's more death metal. He's just a singer. He has his headphones on and he is singing. It makes me laugh. Yes, do that butterfly. It helps you see them for sure. For sure. Okay. So there's sewing in the title. I promise I'm going to get some sewing done this evening. Oh, right. <laughs> T 
Today was just another day of running around, a bunch of hurry up and wait. Oh, 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 no, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. No. <laughs> it keeps on asking me to um, use my iPhone as a, to use my iPhone as a um, camera. Yikes. Every time it does that. There's too much technology in this room. Too many buttons to click. <laughs> I only pull over for blue flashing lights. Everybody else can go F, F themselves. You would not like driving in America. <laughs> There's a lot of unspoken rules. And it's different on the highway than it is in the, on roads. In certain towns. Like every town has unwritten rules. In my neighborhood... It is known to not park in front of someone's house that isn't yours. It's it's a really weird unwritten law. And I thought it was I thought people in my neighborhood were just stuffy, but it's like that in a lot of other places too. Oh. Well, I have to pin the hood first. So let's go over there and pin the hood. Perfect. I brought the eagle back. The eagle needed to stretch his legs a little bit. <laughs> I've been cleaning and I'm deciding where everything should live. <laughs> and the eagle head floats around so much and it makes me laugh. Like I have no idea why people are so scared of an inanimate object. All right, let me get my pink cushion. If you flash your lights behind somebody here, you'll get the bird flipped at you. <laughs> Same here, actually. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny? Um, on Sunday, last Sunday, I was driving and I was on the phone. And I was talking to somebody and I was so animated that the people um, in front of me thought I was talking to them. <laughs> I thought it was so interesting that like I am not up in my rearview mirror that much. I peek to make sure that, you know, there's no drama going on behind me. But it made me laugh. I definitely need to bring my dash cam back. I'm a, I'm a passionate human. Plus, I do not sleep and I drink boatloads of coffee. So that's just asking <laughs> for me to have an emotional response for everything. So I was talking to somebody and I was in my car, um, you know, hands at 10 and 2. And I was laughing. You know, uh, sometimes I feel like I look like I'm conducting a symphony while I'm driving, you know, because I'm like, oh, come on. But anyways, this person thought that I was commenting on their driving. And I really, in all honesty, I wasn't even paying attention to them because I was so caught up in the drama of the conversation of what this um, particular individual was telling me. <laughs> Start one of those dash uh, skits with Pellet activated. <laughs> It's weird to me when people um, have phobias to inanimate objects. Start one of those dash cam channels. Had my stroke in New York in 2019. I remember you told me about that. Laugh out loud. Skits, where are you? Bird head is back. Absolutely. Absolutely, butterfly. <laughs> but I've been cleaning, you know. And the bird... The bird is back, and the bird is definitely the word. <laughs> and you know what? It takes a village. It takes all kinds of people. <laughs> Even the weird ones, they live there too. Okay, I have to pay attention to this hood because I don't want it to be way off. And I didn't even pin that side. Okay, perfect.
Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's get to the YouTube le legend a while now. <laughs> but it's beautiful because I'm rediscovering all the things I've made, you know, and and it is because of my YouTube channel. But in the past four years, I have made so much stuff. I'm actually impressed. I'm impressed at all the things that I've made in the past um, four years. It's insane to think how much I've made. And if you go back 10, I was making stuff even before I had an Instagram. It's because I was, I was wearing it. <laughs> but I had a whole collection of all my weird denim stuff that I wear. And I've toned it down a little bit. But summer's coming, so my um, collection of crazy denim is definitely going to be coming back. Perfect. Oh, the Surfing USA album from the Beach Boys is turning 61 today. You have made quite a bit from what we've been watching. <laughs> I've made a ton of stuff. That's why every time I go in the closet, like I have a makes section and it's all under what used to be a, a computer nook. And it is, it's filled. All right. Oh, that stings. I thought, man, I thought I worked out the kinks in the closet, but the microphone did not want to work. It did not want to work. <clears throat> wow i have that album really that is cool it's beats a hell but i have it i saw two long rows i saw two long rows of hung clothing lots it's not just that i have um i have stacks of t-shirts i have a jersey collection Still to this day, every time I buy a jersey, on the way home, I'm like, oh, man, I can't even justify this. I own so many jerseys. I've said this before. Like, I'm really not into basketball anymore. I really, like, when I was a kid, I was a hardcore Chicago Bulls fan. I know that's a laugher. <laughs> like, everybody else, I watched uh, Michael Jordan on television, and I fell in love. Um, I, you know, I was in the Bulls were on every night, whatever they played, they were on television, but you know, I really, um, don't watch basketball anymore, but I have a wide selection of jerseys and I have a Jordan Jersey, a Rodman Jersey. <clears throat> All right. I think this is attached enough. Beautiful. Oh, did I miss that pen? So it's always in the important place where I'm like, I should have put a pen there. So I'm going to overpin this one for sure. Beautiful. All right. This dress form has really, um, has really upped my game. It, it has. It's helped productivity. It's easy to move around. I, I, you know what? I might buy another one. <laughs> but having a dress form has really helped me out in here. All right. Let me switch my angle. Beautiful. I'm going to, I'm going to go grab a drink really quick. Give me one quick second. I needed a pow I needed a <laughs> non-sponsored needed a power aid.
All right, I'm finally going to put this hood on. Oh. I am strangely addicted. I've been drinking that stuff for a long time. <clears throat> and I'm the guy that buys the um, the case of Powerade at the store. <laughs> I am addicted to this stuff. I could, like I always say, I could have worse habits. I rarely drink sports drinks, but when I do, I do blue Powerade. It's my favorite. I'm addicted to <laughs> If I could fail to answer anything, I will apologize now. It's almost a.m. here. Hey, no worries, dog. I'm a, I am so appreciative that you show up. I am. You, I, uh, I appreciate you. So thank you so much for showing up here in the House of Sewing. And anyone who does, I absolutely appreciate you. Oh. I know that on the West Coast, I start a bit late, so it's, uh, you know, a little bit different. All right. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. About 5, 4 a.m. Yikes. Yeah, that is really early. I'm not necessarily coherent that time. You know, it's really funny. There's um, quite a few people that probably think I live on the East Coast. I just can't sleep at night because there's a few live streams I participate in that are all nighters. Or they'll start at like two o'clock my time. Beautiful. You know, I really don't know what I want to make next. I'm I've been planning on making this outfit for a while. Why are you getting stuck? But I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna make next. I made this hood extraordinarily large. So we're going to see how elfish this one is. <laughs> but I need to I need to start marketing towards all the my elf friends. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely. Have a great night, dog. Oh, just droopy eyed. Give me a blue ribbon. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice, dog. I didn't even notice. I got a James Bond running better still, a better set I don't like. I got a James Bond running better still, a better sound I don't like, but he's way better. I just found out that there's a place called Corona, California. After 2020, there must not get too many tourists anymore. Okay, I can actually go off about that place. Corona, California is cow country. But it's also the same place where if you're willing to put up with the smell, I'm not kidding you, um, that's the place where they have, like... Uh, Oh, are you not sewing? You're not sewing. You're just pecking at this. <laughs> Yikes. Corona, California is the kind of place where you can get a mansion with 15 um with 15 rooms. Like I'm not kidding you. Corona, California is the kind of place where it they have giant houses out there, but you're living in cow country, real life cow country. Still here, just droopy eyed. Awesome. It isn't feeding right. Yeah, there was definitely something wrong with this. I hope it get, it gets even better. <laughs> We're gonna need to start calling butterfly. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh, I swear I've been taking care of you, sewing machine. I don't know what's wrong with you. I swear I've been taking care of you. Okay, here we go. Let's try that again. Okay, so let's find out where this thing left off. That's the crummy thing about uh, when it runs out and you don't realize it. You have to find out where it stopped sewing. Or did it initiate? Okay. You know what? I'm just going to start over. I'm just going to start over. Like I always say, reinforce your seams. So this one will definitely just have double seams. That's okay. Well, I'm just going to sew it twice is what I'm saying. That was weird. All right. Okay. So let's try that again. <laughs> Much better. Just, just by the sound, I can tell it. There we go. Perfect. It sounds like itself again. Uh, uh, uh. Pull this pen. Oh, I don't have a good grip on that. Beautiful. Perfect. Just to make sure I get a good stretch on this. This is a um, really stretchy material. But I've been improving and getting much better at working with this material. And just finding new ways, new ways to um, make it spectacular. I think it's so funny how we Talk to our machines. I I do. I do. I is there a place called Winchester in America? Yes, there's a place called everything you can possibly think of. I negotiate with my machines, butterfly. I'm like, please work, please. Or like, what's wrong with you? I speak to some of my machines like they're defiant children. Oh. Like I say, um, please do not forget to like and subscribe and all those cliche things that YouTubers say. Thank you, dog, for reminding me. We'll double seam part of the way. <laughs> Absolutely. You can instantly tell, even by the sound of that, it's better. You can instantly tell. That's right, doggo people. <laughs> Looks like you're sewing a zebra uh, uh, with pink stripes. He looks like he, like he's the uniform making for Alcatraz. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny? Of all the places I've ever been, I've never been there. I've seen the island. <laughs> well, let's be real. If you go anywhere in San Francisco, you can see the island. Because it's in the middle of the bay. But... <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to pull my pins and I might even go around one more time just because it's that kind of night. It's Monday. Things have been going wrong left and right. Yes, it is. Everything is really perfect except for that small grinding noise. I took it apart and it got put back, but better than before. That's awesome. I think you were talking about James. <laughs> Let me get a Awesome. Have you found the, the sound that is coming from Butterfly? What's for dinner? <laughs> well, is sewing a, a Hufflepuff cloak? That's typical Slytherin. I would be Slytherin. I would be. 
through and through. <laughs> <clears throat> all right let me check because i don't want to take this thing off the sewing machine if there's a piece that i need to sew but i might have to just to check the integrity of it could it could it need the motor looked at new grease quite possibly i have used this beyond expectation this is a baby lock natalie it's an A-Line series. It's probably 15 years old, if not older. Excuse me. I've ran this thing into the ground. Chef Boyardee spaghetti. <laughs> Excuse me. I felt lazy tonight. There's nothing wrong with that. Now I'm craving, now I'm craving Chef Boyardee. Yikes. <laughs> That is now triple sewn in the front. Okay. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to trace my shorts in a minute. I'm going to show you how I make shorts. It's been a long time, so I'm trying to remember. Oh, the weather's been perfect, so my cricket friends are back. <laughs> You know, I see this all the time. People talk about bugs, but most bugs do not yell. Crickets are like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Whenever they're chirping, I don't think it's uh, soothing. I don't think it's eloquent. I don't even think it's nice. <laughs> all right. There are a couple places that need to be sewn on this. Oof. And this there. Did I miss anywhere over here? No. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pin over there to identify where that spot is. Beautiful. I'll put my thumb there. Perfect. I'm going to have to sew there. And then right here. Beautiful. I hope everyone's having a great evening. I am making this wonderful 1990s inspired hoodie. I'm going to make a pair of shorts as well, but we'll see how far I get. No, I haven't. I have the those machines. Ooh. I was also thinking of butterflies, James Bond. <laughs> Good night. I am tired. Thank you so much for stopping by, Joy. I will be here on Wednesday. I hope you I hope you're well. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, I got to find where I should start. Or should I go all the way around? Yikes. I might have to go all the way around again. Or Okay, here we go. Perfect. That's reinforce your seams, reinforce your seams, and reinforce your seams. Okay. And we'll go through one more time, and then it's reveal. Okay, I got to make sure they're over. Wow. Beautiful. Well, where did I go? It would be extended in life of that machine for sure. Oh, yeah. I greased the motor, still the noise, changed out the motor, and still the noise. Ha ha ha. Oh, that sounds like me and that brother sewing machine. I have no idea what's wrong with it. It's sewing backwards. They're man lucky that I'm I can't legally um trebuchet things around here. And for my non-French speaking people, that's a catapult. I just like saying trebuchet. <laughs> Some sometimes that for idea is just what you need. Absolutely. I have some in my house. <laughs> have a great night, Joy. Thank you so much for stopping by. I want to embroider a chef for on my apron. <laughs> Do 
there are certain brands that I grew up with that I'm biased to. Like even when I found that Pioneer Chicken T-shirt, it brought me back, man. If there was Pioneer Chicken in my house, we were doing something special. We were going somewhere. <laughs> Good times. Good times. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this on. This is going to be a straight reveal because I have not even looked yet. You hear any ripping? That's my giant head going, oof. I'm glad I caught that. Oh, man. And now I am determined to remake the um, Here I Go Again video. So the House of Sewing in years to come, I will remake that video. Full video. <laughs> Okay, let me take a quick... Oh, this hood is Hugh... M <laughs> oh, that's funny. Do you know, this um, gives me, like... This almost gives me, like, off... Where are my glasses? Oh, did I leave them in the other room? They give me like almost off Freddy Krueger colors with the stripes on this thing. But I absolutely love how this came out. This thing just, like, I've been, um, man, me and the mute button are not, it's Freddy's, it's Freddy Krueger. <laughs> this definitely is giving me Freddy Krueger vibes with the color and everything. But I made the hood humongous. I made it larger. <gasps> if I can grab it, I can grab it from the back. If I can grab it from the back, you know it's huge. I made this 10 times larger than I normally do. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's long. <laughs> Let me know if you guys can hear me now. But I absolutely love how this came out. Let me move my chair a little bit. Like I always say, you're in the house of sewing. I am all about making practical things. You know, as you saw earlier, I make all kinds of extraordinarily gaudy things, but I like making clothes and things that you can actually wear. Or if you're like me and you're stuck in a certain era, stuff that reminds you of great times. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, the stripe pattern to the size is the similar proportions to the Freddy Krueger look. I was thinking Ewoks on Star Wars. <laughs> I love the Ewoks. <laughs> I have to look again. I have to see how long that is. Oh, man, that's long. <laughs> Windsock. Windsock. Nightcap. And if you need to haul, haul a bag of oranges, this shirt's ready to go. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. I didn't like the pattern originally. I'm telling you, I walked past this thing for weeks, but like, I felt sorry for it. Then I felt the fabric and I was like, it's actually really decent um, fabric. Oh, wow. Big Hood Anonymous. <laughs> I need to open up a program that's just anonymous, anonymous. Like, we're addicted to stuff. <laughs> oh, patent pending, patent pending. That's going to be the name of my group. We're addicted to stuff. <laughs> but like I said, that's what I'm here for is making more practical things. <laughs> It'll be mainly sewing machines. But, you know, if you're into cars, you can come and hang out, too. <laughs> All right, let me give it the test. Hold on, let me, I gotta put my, 
my hood to the side a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I love, I love it. Oh, that's perfect. Where'd my hood go? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> This is what it's about. It's about having a good time and making crazy, crazy stuff. Okay. So I have that. And now I'm going to do something even crazier. I'm going to make a pair of shorts. Oh, it's been a while. All right. Oh, what's Palpatine? <laughs> uh, water name is Palpatine. I'm Darth Stripus. <laughs> Darth Stripin shorts. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> No, Water Day truly is Palpatine because I'll be like, I don't know if I should get that sewing machine. And she's like, do it. <laughs> aw, aw, Water Day is such a good person. She is such a good person. Greetings, peace. Hey, hey, Von Brian. Great to see you. Great to see you. Welcome. Welcome. I just got finished making this hood right now. I'm doing my victory lap. I love how it came out. I hope your night is going well. Great to see you. Great to see you. Yay, butterfly still. <laughs> All right. Like I said, um, I'm using these as the template for the shorts that I'm about to make. I've had these shorts forever, but um, a long time ago, someone told me when you're making your own clothes, use your own clothes. So I use a pair of shorts that I love as the template because they're the perfect size. It's something that I've been wearing for years. And, you know, why mess up something that's that's uh, perfect like that? And, and I've been able to recreate the size over and over over the years. Yay, hello, hello, great to see you, great to see you. I'm going to take a quick seat, it's been a busy day. <laughs> and I have to stop and think about how I'm going to trace my shorts, because it's been a while. I went crazy last year making shorts, but you know, summer has come and gone. Summer has beyond come and gone. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Awesome. We will be here. Butterfly will definitely be here. But I have to say, I love how this came out. I made the hood giant on purpose. Ah, oh, it's perfect. I love how it came out. So I'm going to make a pair of shorts. I'm trying to cut down all the Walmart oopsies that I own. But, you know, I've been buying a few. <laughs> but today I did not purchase any. And that's a, that's a good start. <laughs> It's been a while since I've made pants, but I want to make hammer pants. I've made um, three videos about making hammer pants, but it's been a couple years, you know. A few people have joined the fleet, so I think it's time to make another video. Yay. All right, all right. So, a dog. Still only three likes yet. 19 people are watching sort of your your lives. Sort out your lives, guys. A simple click. <laughs> Don't... Thank you, dog. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. All right. All right. So let me sort all of that out. All right. 
let's chase some shorts. It's been a long time, so it's going to take me a second. Now that um, my assistant is here, let's. Uh, I need your help really quick. Thanks for walking in the room at the right time. <laughs> oh. All right, well, you grab the other end of this. And just fold this really quick. Beautiful. This one. Look, this one is sewn together. What? Oh, that's funny. This came straight from the manufacturer. And look. Huh? Oh, that is. Well, it's not straight from the manufacturer. This is the definition of an oopsie. Oh, that is so funny. That's why you always should check your fabric. Man, they were like, oops, oops, oops. They probably didn't even notice the machine was messed up until it was too late. Hmm. Oh, that is so funny. Okay, so flop that over and back up. You have more space than I do. I want to, we need to get on the same side. So, no, no, grab the bottom and fold it up like I have. There you go. Now grab the edge and back up. There you go. Perfect. So for this, we can just fold it in half. That's all I need. Thank you. Welcome. Don't forget to eat something after all that working out. Okay. I'm definitely just going to cut that piece off. That entire piece is about to get chopped right now. Yay! Hello, hello, hands. Hello, hello. They make the rolls that way. They do. They chain stitch and they chain stitch them together. It's been um, a while since I've seen one that loose. It's been a while. So that is why they sell it in the cheap bin. Exactly. It's been a long time. And I buy so much fabric from everywhere, from the manufacturer, from the oopsie aisle. It's been a while since I've seen that. Yay. Hello, hello, hands. That is a railway stitch. I'm cutting it off and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it because I really don't need I don't need all four yards for the shorts. <laughs> oh It has been a long time. I'm going to sit down and think about this before I completely mess it up. Even though I have um, a mass amount of fabric to make to make bad decisions with. Like a blanket stitch, but if you went on two edges. It seems like they either went crazy with it or it maybe it was done on purpose. Wow. Wow. It's been a long time since I purchased something and I've, and I've seen a chain stitch in the middle of it. But like you said, that's why the material is cheap. Because when I even when I go downtown and I buy four yards, it's a decent price. It's cheaper than the oopsie price. Well, it's more expensive. Well, depending on what I'm buying. All right. So let me switch my angles. We'll cut that. This is hot. <laughs> that's how I know the weather's changing here because... I'm so used to being cold that um, I'm I'm not ready for the heat yet. Barely just worked out the cross stitch, railway stitch. Will will end me? <laughs> oh, this came out perfect. And that salmon, this salmon color is slowly growing on me. It's not like it's just it has to be salmon because it's like a weird. I called it like off pink, but it's definitely salmon. Oh, right. So, first things first, I need to get my um, ruler because I need sharp edges on my shorts. For me, that's the most important thing when you're making shorts is having extremely sharp edges. 
it's a complicated steer. It's kind of like two edge search together. That is that is extremely complicated. Good grief. All right. Let me look. Let me look. I'm definitely going to keep the chain stitch piece. Where is my ruler? Oh. Oh, and before I forget, Alibaba, every time I purchase this now, it makes me think of you. This is the America size of goldfish. It's huge. It's literally the size of my head, but <laughs> apparently they do not sell them this large in other countries. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> The one that gets me the most is at my local Walmart. Um, my son loves Chips Ahoy cookies. And at all the stores, they have the standard, um, you know, box or bag, whatever you call it, with two rows. At Walmart, they call it the party size. The, I don't know. It has three rows. It's almost like a hundred something cookies. It's crazy. <sighs> <laughs> it's supposed to be complicated. It's, it's like two a LGBTQIA plus B. Oh my God! Press that through the screen. <laughs> I'll mail it. I'll mail it to you. The price dropped. Food is so funny in this country. It goes up and down, up and down. But the price dropped on that, so I jumped at it. I um, absolutely love goldfish, so I try to keep them stocked up in here. <clears throat> All right, let me find my... Let's see. It can't be that complicated. It's not that I forgot how to make shorts. It's just been a long, long time. I'm definitely going to keep that piece. Well, I guess I will come in like that. Perfect. <laughs> I have a feeling these might be tight, but that's going to be okay, too. <laughs> Says the guy who wore brown leather a couple streams ago. I forgot about that. Okay, so we have one side. This stuff is just trying to jump off the table. Oh. Okay, let me find the where the edge was. All right, perfect. So we're gonna start the process all over again, but I'm gonna use the same side of the short so they match. Let me take that off to get an even cut. And that's the other side. I'm glad I cut that off. Man, what a mess that is. Perfect. Hey, how's it? Oh, it passed through. Hey, how's it going, mister? He said, great to see you. Great to see you. Welcome. Welcome to the House of Sewing. Yay. Great to see you, Mister. He said, "I'm over here trying to trying to save this fabric from falling off the table." Welcome, welcome. I'm just sitting here doing some late night sewing. I am all about making my own clothes. Oh, it's been a while since I've made a pair of shorts, but I've been doing a lot of cleaning. Summer's coming, and I said I was going to make an outfit out of this. 
and I'm definitely one of those people that when I start off to do something, I finish it. All right, so I'm going to take this piece, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to pin it. I might go old school and use a sewing machine. If Joy was here, she'd tell me to still use the serger. Okay, good. I got to make sure my edges are clean on this. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely, Mr. He said. Absolutely. This material I got from the Walmart Oops section. And I'm really trying to cut down on everything that I have, you know, and on my, um, on my Twitter, I constantly say recycle, reduce, reuse, but like, I am definitely one of those people that need to take my own advice. So I've been cutting down this giant pile that I have. <clears throat> oh, right. Perfect. I just had to get a couple pins in here so I can use this as a template so I can use it to match the other side completely. And like I said, when making your own clothes, use um, your own clothes. Like this pair of shorts I've had for 14, 13, 14 years, and I use it as a template for all of my shorts. I have what I call my Montana pants that I use as a template for my pants because they're a little bit bigger. Before Kilroy goes off, yes, a pair of pants in Montana that are the same size are different in California than they are in Montana. I was shocked. <clears throat> but they're they're literally made bigger. Even if it's the same size, they make them considerably bigger. Perfect. Perfect. Sergio. <laughs> Ali Baba, come on. Joy's not here to give me a hard time, so you're telling me I should surge it, huh? It's been a while since I've made um it's been a while since I've made a pair of shorts. So I'm really trying to remember how to do this. And I don't know if surging is going to help. <laughs> it's because people in Montana drink too much beer. <laughs> I still to this day my um still to this day it tripped me out. And you know what? That like, in, and I have to say this about every state. Like, people say all kinds of evil things about states, but we're all kind of the same size in every state. But yeah, in Montana, they definitely have bigger pairs of. It's the strangest thing. And I love that question. What part of California are you from? The part you don't like. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna put these together. So I'm my method of sewing this might be a bit crazy. I'm gonna put these together and sew them individually. I might surge the middle though. We'll see how it goes. But you know, here in the house of sewing, we are a bit unorthodox. Ugh. I'll try to come around on the other side of the table so I can see so everybody can see. See what I'm doing. I'll show my work, as they say. You got to show your work like in math class. <laughs> for, for a very long time, my son did homeschooling. And their number one no-no was plagiarizing anything off the internet, was ripping something off. So they were constantly checking. But it teaches you, but it teaches you to actually be self-reliant and rely on yourself and not have to go to the internet for anything. And if you do, at least reword it to the point where it's not word for word. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna open this up a little bit. 
I'm going to combine the two back pieces. Get my sewing machine ready. Like I said, this is going to be a bit unorthodox. <clears throat> Not falling asleep yet. I have a choice of Brooklyn 999, House or Mug to watch next. Any suggestions? I'm halfway through them all. <laughs> I'm going to go and watch some of the live volcano erupting in Iceland. <laughs> Have a great night, Alibaba. Have a great night. Thank you so much for stopping by, everybody. <laughs> and I would, um, they showed, a, here in America, they showed a house, like, that was on, that was always on TV. And I have to say, I never really watched an episode of House. I know that I know that's blasphemous where you're from, but I can say I don't think I've ever really sat down and watched House. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh. Alibaba never got into house either. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not alone. Because I know sometimes when I say that, people are like, what? Here in America, it was it got into syndication early. It was on everything here, on every channel. And I never really got into it. All right. So let me clean up a little bit. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a mess here. But sewing is a bit messy. You do spread out. It's not for the faint of heart. Oh, okay. Perfect. Let me switch my angle real quick. Last time the fuck erupted stopped. Most flights worldwide. <laughs> This one is different. No ash so far. Oh, crazy. Crazy. Is that that's the one in Iceland that you were talking about? Because I'm subscribed to it and it's constant. Like I it just kicks to it. And I'm watching it and I'm like, this is cool. I wish I knew where you were. <laughs> All right. So let me switch my angle. I'm gonna start um sewing the middle part of the shorts right now. Then I'm going to come back and sew the other piece and do some really unorthodox things. And we're going to see how this ends up. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made a pair of shorts. So we're going to find out together how this ends up. Where there's fire, there's smoke. Oh. You know, this is good practice, too, because I keep on talking about how I want to make um, hammer pants. And it's been a while. And for anyone, if, you you know, they call them harem pants, they call them jump pants, all kinds of things. I um, grew up in a certain era. I call them hammer pants. And regardless of what you say about the man, he was bad at finances but he was great at supporting his people from his neighborhood <laughs> and dancing all right make sure i get this middle piece i don't want any bunching in this all right i'll just stop Oof. perfect Perfect. Beautiful. All right, let me take a look. So I'm going to throw these back on the table and then I'm going to start shaping them top part of the shorts. And then I'm going to surge the sides and see how it looks. It's been a while since I've made a pair of shorts, so this is going to be interesting. All right, so back to the drawing board. 
like I said, I hope everyone's having a good night. I am enjoying myself making these shorts. It has been a crazy Monday in skits. If you're out there, the Eagle is back. Regal, that's that's the Regal Eagle. Not to be confused with the Regal Beagle, but Larry is still there waiting for everybody. <laughs> All right. You know what's really funny? I do not want to get rid of the Golden Girls chair. And when I say get rid of it, it's just going to go in another room. But I think it's time to get an office chair. And yes, I've been saying that for months. But I always end up breaking the office chairs because they just don't make them like they used to. Let me grab my phone. Scary Larry Eagle. Oh. Oh. You got to burn the chair, otherwise you'll you'll never fully get rid of it. it it's the last gaudy thing in this room that is kind of useless besides, you know. So it's time to get rid of this thing because it's really in the way. In a lot of ways, it's just in the way. And I feel bad saying that, but like when I'm watching hockey, when I'm doing stuff, it's beautiful because I can lay back. I have a television that um, is literally above my head so I can lean back and watch it. Um, I have Mario hooked up to that TV. It's awesome. But it's not necessarily something that is made for a sewing room. I need something I can swivel around in. I miss my old gamer chair. Those gamer chairs were made to live in. <laughs> The last gaudy thing. The last gaudy thing in there. <laughs> Master Chief has a purpose. And you know what's really funny? I quit on the show. I completely quit on the show. And then I saw a highlight of um one of the I saw a highlight of the last episode. I went straight to Paramount Plus and watched it. I had no idea what was going on in the show, but it was amazing. The show just lagged for me, and I quit on it. I'm that kind of person. You know, unfortunately, like, if I have read the book um, and you get boring, I'm gone. But I played the game. I have um, an Xbox right in front of me. <laughs> and um, as we can all see, I have a three-foot uh, Master Chief statue in my house. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Master Chief isn't gaudy. Master Chief has a job. Master Chief is saving the universe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but seriously, I want to thank everybody who's been here through this stream. You guys are amazing. All right. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to sew the middle piece and then I'm going to serge around this. I've moved my serger to the top. I have um, all kinds of weird computer accessories. I have my serger on the top of an old computer um, riser. Uh, I don't know what it is, but my whole point is I kind of like it because I can stand up. I don't know if the searcher station is going to graduate to something where I can stand up and sew at the same time, but I kind of like um, standing and surging at the same time. It's weird. All right. But don't quote me on that. Searcher station uh, has the right to change at all times. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, even though I, let's see if I switch that angle. Perfect. Okay. So the weather is getting better here. I have to cut my tree this week. There's all kinds of crazy stuff I have to do, but then it started raining. <laughs> so now I have to wait until the grounds. Well, I could cut the tree still, but. 
It's just the strangest weather that we're having this year. And I know we're in the middle of an El Nino and all of that, but it's still just the oddest thing. <clears throat> all right. So I have to pay attention on this one. Perfect. And for anyone keeping score, I purchased ALF last week and I'm still watching it. It's in my DVD player right now. <laughs> oh. And I've seen every, and now I've seen, I thought I've seen them all. And it's funny how you think you've seen every episode and you really haven't. So it's actually really cool. All right. Let me check to see if I um, missed any. Let me see if I missed anything on this side. Oh, which direction are you going, my friend? Let's see if that'll work on this. Perfect. Beautiful. I'm just trying to not have... Any mishaps on here? Okay. So now I'm going to try this out. This might be a good idea or a bad idea. I have no idea. But I put my serger on a bit of a riser, like I said. That's meant for a computer. But you know, I have quite a few computers in here and quite a few risers. So I use things not necessarily what they're intended for. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my shorts. I'm going to line up the sides and everything because I need to make sure they're decent enough because the serger does not joke around. It's going to even out everything, whether it wants to be or not. So sergers are no joke in that sense. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Lining up isn't necessarily the most difficult thing, but I'm just trying to make sure that I do it proper because the serger will cut through everything. And like I said, it'll make lines that weren't even there if you do not do it properly. I have here we go again, just blaring in my head. I let I let my uh, playlist just go, and there is all kinds of '90s and '80s. And it's funny how it went from um, New Edition to um, "I'm Only Just a Lonely Heart in One Direction." <laughs> so now I have here we go again, just blasting through my head. All right. Beautiful. Let me line that up. So this is this is going to be interesting because I have not um, surged a pair of shorts like this, but it will make it go by in three seconds. So we're going to do it and see what happens. I just have to make sure everything's lined up because, like I said, the serger is going to line it up regardless. Oh. Perfect. I have the line of the bottom as well because it's funny. If you don't start from the bottom, you it's amazing how uneven it'll be. When the Los Angeles Clippers lost to the Indiana Pacers, my phone just told me. <laughs> I get all sports updates. I signed up for the Kings and they, they're like, oh, you live in LA? I'm going to give you every sports update for every team. All right, there we go. Go oh, perfect, beautiful. Now I just have to line up this middle piece because you don't, you don't want the crotch to look lumpy. Insert joke there, but it's true. 
the lumpy crotch is just not the look. Okay, I'm going to put that out there. Perfect. Okay, so like I said, I put this serger on a riser. And we're going to see what happens. I don't know if I like... Um, I kind of like sewing and standing. I like the... I like... I like the direction in which it's going. But again, maybe I just need a better chair. Maybe I need to organize this room better. <laughs> just sew a cup into the shorts. Boom. No lumpy crotch. <laughs> This is this is an experiment, so we're gonna find out what happens on this one. Because um, <laughs> I have definitely not searched like this before, but we're here to embark on uh, all kinds of crazy missions. <laughs> Oh, this should work, says every person ever trying to convince themselves of things that they may or may not be, should be doing. Okay, so I want to keep the integrity and the angle is what I'm trying to do perfect. Oh man, the serger is just undefeated. That is one thing I absolutely love about a serger. Okay. All right, that really finished strong. So let's see how this comes out. Lumpy crotch will never become a fashion statement. But it's going to be the name of my uh, my punk band. A long time ago when I made those pleather pants that are just an abomination, I had so much tenting in the crotch. People were telling me, they're like, what did you do wrong? In the video, people were like, how could you have messed that up so bad? And, you know, still to this day, I do not have an answer. People were like, <laughs> that was the one time the comment section just let me have it. They were like, what did you do? <sighs> oh, bro. <laughs> We're going to see how these fit. I I hope not. <laughs> People with the inability to click the like button are clearly Trump supporters. <laughs> Let me crush his will his will's new romper name. A rapper name. I need to put my glasses on. That is. I kind of made Skippy. <laughs> Let me put my let me go grab my belt. P P D D. Uh, let me clear myself for that. Oh well, P D D is out. Lumpy crotch is in. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Diddy. He is so done. He is so cooked. I forgot about Diddy. Lumpy crotch gonna make it. Lump lump. Yes. I love it. <laughs> All right, let me move my table. I am dying to try these on because I have a bad feeling these are going to be skinny. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. But I talk about it all the time. Like, make something goofy. It'll brighten up your day. So normally, normally I would put in belt loops. I would do all kinds of things that I would do with every pair of shorts. But this is going to be a quick reveal because I want to see how these look. Because these were, 
These were hastily made. I'm going to go back and look and see how long it took me to make these. These are more in the pajama realm, I have a feeling. Oh, oh that's funny. <laughs> Where's my belt? <laughs> Oh, note to self. Make belt loops next time. <laughs> okay. There we go. I actually like, you know, once I put belt loops on this, these are going to look amazing. This is how I discovered making spants. Because I... <laughs> Of course, I'm wearing two different socks, but that's how we do it here in the house of sewing. Instead of two chains, it's two socks, but at least they're the same color. I have this. I love wearing black socks, so I have this weird thing. Oh, that's going to have to be covered there. Okay, so I have this thing of wearing different colored socks, so at least they're the same color today. Oh, this is this one's going to be worth it, I promise. <laughs> Let me just make sure the shirt's long enough to cover up all the indecent parts because these are revealing shorts. Perfect. <laughs> this is what it's about. So I haven't even seen myself yet. We're going to, um, let me, we're going to go straight to the other camera. <laughs> These have got to, these are going to be like pajamas. Watch these shorts show that really what religion. <laughs> I am not a Gentile of you. <laughs> these are definite. Well, can I do? Oh, yeah. These are definitely in the pajama realm. <laughs> but I love how these came out. I'm going to wear these around the house. These are definitely loungy kind of shorts. <laughs> Where is my other phone? It ran away because it didn't want to see this. <laughs> there it is. Oh, this was such a good project. <laughs> That's the good... <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Where am I going? Hold on, let me let me cool it up a little bit. Kilroy never disappoints here in the house of sewing. That's why you go on all the away missions, number one. <laughs> oh, it's so goofy. You won't wear it out of the house. That's how goofy it is. I'm going to wear it in the house. Like I'm El <laughs> Oh, the shirt is definitely something I'm going to wear all the time. It's the color. It's the coloring of it, you know? It's definitely the coloring of it. I'm glad this shirt is long. But I like how this came out. This is definitely a victory here in the house of sewing. This is something I'm going to wear around the house. The shirt, I'm going to wear all the time. But these... <laughs> I made these in less than 15 minutes and it shows. I'm going to really go back and look and see how long it took me to make these shorts. If LL wore that, he wouldn't, he would have been got shot. <laughs> oh, and because they're all loose, these are perfect to move around into. Beautiful. This is what it's about. This is an oopsie outfit. Let me do the pose like I do in my videos. I'm in the exact same spot. 
this is what it's all about making crazy stuff i absolutely love how this didn't take long to make the shorts it's because i've made quite a few pair quite a few pair of shorts and once i you know it's kind of like riding a bike a horse a skateboard once you figure it out once you get even if you've been gone for a while you can pretty much figure it out i love making shorts and pants i have my own way of making pants it's kind of a quick and easy way it's not necessarily even the right way but they come out perfect i've tr i'm trying to perfect the tenting from the crotch and not having a lumpy crotch and it's perfect <laughs> i love how this came out it puts the square in <laughs> and square dancing <laughs> And I could I could get down with some square dancing. I still there's quite a few moves I still know. There are quite a few moves I still know. Oh man, it feels good. <laughs> oh, whoops. <clears throat> Oh, I have with this whole outfit. I forgot. Well, let's do this one more time. Let's see how this looks one more time. I almost completely forgot where I was. Let's try that. Oh my gosh, that hood is long. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me move my Golden Girls chair. Oh, that's perfect. Look at this outfit. House of Sewing 2024. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Try to try to get the shape out of the pattern and keep it. <laughs> I love how it looks with my vest. So on Friday, everybody acts surprised when you see this in my Friday Sews video. I'm going to add um, belt loops and I'm going to add some integrity to these shorts. But they look great. That's what it's about. And you know what? Even if these are something that I only wear around the house, I absolutely love how they came out. So that's what this is all about, is um, being productive, <laughs> being extremely productive, and making your own clothes. It's less Dior and more Eeyore. <laughs> you, uh... Everyone, please do not forget to, to tip Kilroy on the way out. <laughs> oh, that one's going up. <laughs> Oh man, let me move my belt. <laughs> oh, man, these things are really comfortable to sit in, though. <laughs> I can now see why people make material, make everything out of this material, everything. Oh, that was great. That you know what? That's what it's about. Is just having a good time and making um and you know, just making crazy things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Comfortable cloth. Oh, I feel well, the second I sat down, I was like worth it. Worth it. This stuff is stretchy and perfect. <laughs> I'm going to make a ton of stuff out of this. You know, it's weird wearing an all matching outfit because I'm I am uh, Captain Two Tone, so it's strange wearing something that's so matching. <laughs> oh wow! Well, I've been at it for about two hours. This has been awesome. I'm gonna go at it for a little bit longer. A couple of cloth makes me feel like my nagas are out. I can't wear it in public. Okay, that. That is my number one beef with material that is ultra thin. I I need some support. So I'm with you on that. Where do you draw the line? Like, could you wear silk pants 
I feel uncomfortable wearing silk pants. I feel like I'm sliding all over the place. But some people swear by them, you know? It sounds like a good lining. I love this material. This material, but again, I'm starting to work with more stretchy material. I started off working with like a um, pleather, leather, and canvas. So this is something that I definitely love working with. I can wear silk pants. Okay, so that's a vote. I'm not a silk pants kind of guy. They just it's, they just make me um, feel uncomfortable. Silk top is different. I would rock a silk top. But there's just um, something extremely strange about um, silk, silk pants. Too. Maybe I'm just one of those people that gets my um, steak medium well. I don't know. <laughs> For anyone wondering, I am um, taking a quick break because I made an entire outfit. This, well, not an entire outfit, but I made this beautiful um, shirt and I made these beautiful shorts. <laughs> And it's been a productive e evening here in the House of Sewing. Nothing but positivity. Nothing but having fun and um, enjoying ourselves. I hope everybody had a great evening. I'm not quite signing off just yet, but I'm going to be jumping off here in a second. I want to say really quick in some housekeeping news. I really want to thank everybody who subscribed and everybody who sticks around. I absolutely appreciate you and I see you and I thank you. Everybody who watches this in the rewatch, I cannot begin to explain how much I appreciate you. So to all my Latvian friends, I absolutely love every single one of you. <laughs> and I say Latvia, but if you're not from Latvia, if you're from anywhere, let me know. To anyone who watches this after the stream, you're appreciated. So I guess I'll sign off here. It's been a great evening. I want to thank everybody who's been here, everybody who's joined, anyone who watches this in the future. You are appreciated. I, I can't even begin to describe um, how much I absolutely can't believe that I'm still here and that I made it this far. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh that I'm still he here after all after all these years. So if you're on the moon, say so. <laughs> and I'm still kind of shocked. So I think everybody who's still here after all these years, I'll be back at it on Wednesday, dressing like the Iron Sheik, as always. So like I always say, reinforce your seams, be yourself, and I will definitely, definitely See you next time. Bye. See you guys on Wednesday. <laughs>